I fucked that one up. What's up, gang? We back for another episode of the Strap Sneakerhead. Today, I feel like we got something. I always think something is special because I ain't, you know, I'm going for everything that I didn't get back in the day. But um, I feel like, you know, when it comes to releases from maybe like a few years ago, we kind of, everybody has different feelings on it. You know, if you weren't really in the know, you wouldn't even know what was going on. But let's get right into it. Today, we got the Air Jordan 4 Yellow Thunder. Because now there's a Red Thunder. So we're going to go ahead and just call it the Yellow Thunder. Oh, this ain't the right sneaker. This was something else for y'all. Matter of fact, we can go ahead and just do both. Boom. I feel like I'm Gucci Man in 2006. Like, yes, sir. We definitely, what's name? But I'm going to put this down. That was just a little joke. Try and have some fun. But today, we definitely do have something nice. That yellow thunder is hitting. This is hitting. This is, this is, this is, this is it. Um, like I said, 2006. Um, I believe Jordan Brand. This was an online exclusive in 2006. Um, I will put the the jacket up that was uh, that came with the release because you couldn't get these unless you bought the jacket. So the jacket, I think the whole pack was 500. I think the pack with these was 250 because it came with a t-shirt. Um, I believe August of 06. I want to say August of 06. Um, yeah, definitely had to get these, uh, this is that uh, Jordan brand lifestyle time, you know, burgundy fives. We're about to get those two green beans. Uh, do the right things. I feel like it was a it was a it was a time when we were dealing with the lifestyle brand. I believe these were geared towards the motorsport team. If I'm wrong, correct me. You know, no problem. I just want to uh, you know give you guys the right information, but. Definitely 2006, and then I believe again in December 2012. So this is the third release. I thought it was two, but then I had to go back and do my, you know, my due diligence. Um, I think 2012 was kind of like, you know, passed over. Uh, these are like closest to the, because this isn't an OG sneaker. It's an, it's an, it's, you know, down the line. 06, he didn't wear these. It's not an OG sneaker. I know people will say, oh, that's a Jordan 4. That's an OG. Yes, that, yes. The, the silhouette, yes. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Allergies. Everything's changing outside. But um, definitely, these are OGs. The silhouette is an OG silhouette, but this colorway is not an OG colorway. So, you know, I just was looking and people like, I'm not buying these because there's no Nike Air on the back. Why would it be if it wasn't there in the first place? But... You know, everybody's trying to be like these savants now. And, oh, I, uh, if they don't have Nike on the back, Air Jordan 3, Air Jordan 4, I'm not wearing it. Or sixes and fives. Like, that's corny, bro. It's like, come on, man. It's like, it's like if you don't want it, don't buy it. Don't, don't try to, to tear somebody else. But, you know, that's another story for another day. But like I said, I ain't going to keep showing y'all this lightning for. Make sure this is so I can kind of put them together. 2006, what a time to be alive, I guess. Um, didn't have either, so to have this pack as a sneaker person, a sneaker head, whatever you want to call me, uh, whatever, to have this, it's a good day in the neighborhood. It's definitely a good day in the neighborhood. So, you know, I'm not tripping. Definitely not tripping. Let's go ahead and get that up out of there. Let's get y'all started on this. Um. We have a black Jordan flight box. Take myself out the camera. Hopefully it focuses up. We have a black Jordan flight box. And I'm sorry, Daenerys. I didn't mean to hit you. Um, you know, it's black like speck on there. I don't know. It was raining yesterday. So I'm like, well, this is a good box for the rain. But yeah, it's definitely black speckle. 
uh, Yellow Jumpman, White Flight on there. Box is, you know, it's it's kind of thicker than a usual Jordan 4 box. Me and my friend were talking about that yesterday. This kind of a thick box. Um, size tag, size 11. I started having the size up in my 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 fours. These are the the, the lightnings are a ten and a half. Wasn't that bad, you know. All day wear it, it kind of did eventually start tearing my foot up, but I just started going for an eleven because it's like that 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 walking around all day and your feet just just screaming. Can't do it. Can't do it. But back to the size tag, size eleven. Hopefully that's that's focusing up for you guys. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to show you guys the inside, but let's go through with um, colorway is black, white, tour yellow, size 11, women's 12 and a half, uh, style code DH69270017, made in China. So it's not nothing crazy. The inside is, uh, is yellow, just a flat yellow. You know, you got your cement paper or whatever you want to call it. Whatever the case may be, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I seen somebody. Um, I seen Jumpman Chris unboxing a kid's pair, or no, his wife's pair, and a sticker fell out the box. And it's like, if you're gonna charge me two hundred, two hundred ten dollars, Jordan, I want my sticker. So if everybody else can get stickers, I want my sticker too, Jordan Brand. Remember that. Ah, I got a story for you guys too about my experience with my pickup yesterday. I should start filming. My when I go pick up sneakers when I hit on uh you know the the apps, but let's get back into it. Nothing too crazy about the box here. Black box, you know. I I, I actually enjoy shoe boxes if it's something to talk about or something real nice going on. I need to get a sweet new buck brush and wipe this these shoes off. But yeah, um, you know, black new buck all around. You got your yellow hits on the wings. These are the wings. Uh, you got yellow under the black cage. Yellow midsole. Uh, looks like a gray Air Max unit. Um, outsole, tore yellow up there in that little pod. White jump, man. Everything. Just a black and yellow sneaker. Not anything too crazy. I know everybody, you know, Red Thunders. So. Everybody's been kind of like dealing with that, trying to what's the name, trying to, you know, make that like something that's, how do I want to say this? It ain't this. And as much as people want to, oh, it's black and red. That Me and my friend say this all the time. He's like head over heels because he's like, it's a, it's a knockoff colorway. That's from like the flea market days when people were wearing fake Jordans all the time. And it's like, that's cool and all, but. That's not it. That's not going to do it for me. This, me not having this since 06, 2012, and then we in 2023, so over 10 years, um, I'd rather have this. That black and red, it wasn't accessible when I had it. Like I said, four is 10 and a half, tore my foot up. I was actually on a date, black and red fours in D.C. I'm from Baltimore. I was in D.C. So you just imagine I'm not home. I'm just trying to get home. My feet are screaming. I'm talking about I'm walking back to the car looking crazy. It was just, you know, it was a it was a it was a crazy uh day, I'll say, but this is it for me. So you know simple yet effective colorway. That yellow is gonna pop. You 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 probably can get off a lot of fits with this. You could even wear all black and it's still what's the name. And I and 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 don't get me wrong about the the black and red, the red thunder. It's cool. I had it. I didn't not get it. I didn't give it away because I didn't like it. I gave it away because well, I sold it because it was tearing my foot up like ridiculously. So, you know, it is what it is. I got a nice little penny off of it from, you know, it being a fake hype. But to go back to another uh, point, these are probably as close to the 06 pair. And I said that because in 2012, if you guys can see right here on this wing, there's an extra like little nip right there that wasn't on the 2012 pair. So they 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 definitely went back to the original fours. I don't even know what you would call this thing here, but you know it has like that triangle part on the side. So you know if you got your pair, go ahead and check that out. Um, look at the pictures from 2012. You can actually tell if somebody has a pair from 2012 now by seeing that. 
Um, another thing, I'm glad that when we first got pictures of these, they had like a white stitching in here or like a yellow stitching. And I guess Nike got rid of that because if that would have been on here, I'm not buying this sneaker. Um, just like those red foam posits. Why would you line a sneaker in leather? But that's another story for another day. Um, it was pretty easy to cop, I'll say. Um, I'm actually on my phone, so can't like let you guys know. Yesterday I saw maybe the size 11, 270. These were 222 out the door, 222 and some change out the door. So, I mean, if you're looking for a little bit of profit and you could, you know, smoke a site or something and, you know, get a bunch of them, I guess it would make sense. But resale isn't that crazy. Um, if you want it, cop it. If you don't, you know, that's that's you know, that's that's your prerogative. Um, but I will give you guys a quick story time. So I basically, um, me and my friend, we always Goldie Mac. His videos are on the page. Uh, under like you you can find them. Just go to the videos, Goldie Mac videos. New music is out now. Goldie Mac on. Apple Music, Spotify, everything. Um, to me, one of the and not because he's my friend. I feel like the guy can really rap. That, that's my brother, and you know we come from a city where people won't give you that acknowledgement. But um, he's definitely one of those ones. I, I feel like he can compete with anybody. But his videos are there. Me and him had this 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 conversation all the time um, about basically. I lost my train of thought, but um, I'm gonna just trip y'all. Oh, uh, we eat. We always hit each other with. Oh, I got mine. I hit mine on the on the raffles, you know, on the apps and stuff like that. Or we're always talking sneakers. So basically, it was like a thing. Like, oh, I sent it to him. He hit me back. Like, yo, I hit. I'm like, shit. I hit on Liberty Road. He like, shit. I hit on Towson. Usually, it's reverse. So I'm like, oh, you need a ride? He's like, yeah, boom. So, you know, we thug out on Saturdays when we get sneakers. Like, we, we, we hitting it. We, we got our Zy, our Henny, whatever we, whatever, drinking, smoking, whatever. We, 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 we sliding out. We're going to walk through the mall. We're going to do that whole hoorah. So I pick him up. I had a few moves to make because I, you know, the, the homeless trail Keisha Tees came out. Keisha from Belly. I have a T-shirt that just dropped. I'll actually throw up a picture. In the video, so you guys can um, see the see the drop. Link will be in my personal page. You know, my links are at the end of the video, so <clears throat> not a lot going on. So basically, I had a couple shirt sales to go hit. I'm like, he, you know, he's with me, so we go do all of that, and we get to Towson. We get to Towson Mall. If you're from Baltimore, you know what I'm talking about. We get to Towson Mall. Um, basically. When we're pulling up, I'm like, oh, I just go, you know, go into my Foot Locker app to, you know, make sure everything's straight. So I open the app. It signed me out. That's a regular thing. Wasn't really tripping. Sign back in. My reservation's there. Whatever. I go. I'm like, yo, better make sure you're listening because you about to go in the mall. You better make sure your stuff's straight because they signed me out. You know, he's laughing, playing. He goes and checks his phone. They definitely signed him out. So he signs back in. We hitting the mall. Um, he gets his sneaker. We walk around for a minute, whatever the case may be. Now we have to trek to the other side of the county, basically. Liberty Road. There's a foot locker there now. So we gotta come from over East Baltimore to basically West Baltimore County. So not far to us, but it's it's I mean, I guess it's it's not close. So we pull up to the foot locker. I pull out my phone. I open my app. When I open the, the releases and go to the release tab, my fault, Biggie, there's no reservation there. So, you know, I kind of get in my mood like, oh, what is this? He's like, yo, you good? Ooh. I understand that I'm good, but, you know, just seeing it or being like, yo, did they sell my sneaker? What happened? You know, I couldn't figure it out. So I walk in the store. I'm like, look here, because I took a screenshot the night before which I'll even put up just so y'all can understand, like, oh, he's, he's really not like, yeah. And maybe y'all don't need it, but I put the picture up. I mean, I showed them, I showed the employees the picture, like, look, I, I hit last night. I need, I'm trying to pick up my sneaker, but I, it's not showing up in the app no more. It disappeared. 
So they're sitting there telling me, like, yeah, well, there's nothing we can do. So Dion's like, or Goldie Mac is like, no, nah, y'all not doing that. What, it, see if his name on the list, because you know they have lists. So I'm just about to spaz. So I'm I'm just trying not to geek out. And because I'm feeling like they're playing dope fan games. I'm I'm thinking like, oh, all right, bet. I'm going to get my sneaker. It should be cut and dry. It wasn't, so kind of flustered me. And then it felt like they were playing, like I said. So I'm like, yeah, I just, I, it's right here. Y'all can see the screenshot. I confirmed it. You feel me? Everything is right here. You just don't have a QR code. So they call a manager. Like, can he still? They, first of all, they check the list. They check the list. She's like, yo, he on here. So he clearly confirmed and did everything he was supposed to do. Y'all app just not working. So their solution was, Come back tomorrow morning and see if we still got the size left. What do you mean, see if you still got the size left? If y'all, if the if if y'all close right before I'm supposed to pick up, nobody should be able to get that shoe. Unless y'all are selling it to yourself or backdooring or whatever these companies are doing. And Foot Locker, this is a message to y'all. We all know what's going on. So to try to act like y'all got y'all employees in line or this raffle situation, a couple weeks ago at the same store. Maybe a, a re, white, white reimagined threes. I watched a kid that clearly works there. He was in there with his mother, and they went and got his reimagined pair out the locker that's behind the registers. So how was that pair raffled off if he works there? Like, it, unless you're telling me he entered the raffle and whistling, but then that means that y'all have he y'all can see his name. Y'all can kind of make sure or or alter it to where as though he wins. How is your employee? Granted, he wasn't at work, so I get it that you sold it to him, but y'all, they're supposed to be the last straw. Customers are supposed to get theirs first. So, like I said, I felt like they were playing games, and basically, you got to wait until tomorrow. Hopefully, we still got the size. I said, what do you, what do you keep saying hopefully for? Like, you try, like, that's what's making it sound funny. So, you know, eventually, I'm just like, man, forget it. I'll be back in the morning. I really wasn't going to go back. So, you know, you get in a car, and you, like, kind of, sit there for a couple of seconds. So I just got back on my app, kind of signed out, signed back. I had done that a million times already. And then eventually I just kind of kept going back and forth and refreshing and doing all types of things. And it popped up. So when I go back in the store, they're like, oh, what happened? It came back up. I'm like, yeah, like I told y'all I had it. Like y'all were playing me like I didn't know what I was talking about or know what I was doing. So you probably was the service in the store. It's like, I said, sweetheart, I was doing this before I came in the first time. But whatever, like, can I go to the front because my sneakers up there? Yeah. So I'm going to give y'all the kicker because this is the funny part. This is the crazy part of the story. They, they swore me up and down. They didn't need the, They needed the QR code to sell me the sneaker. Why, when I get to the counter, the young girl that's, that's ringing me up goes through the process, rings the because that's what I asked the lady. I said, so y'all can't just scan the regular tag and it go because it's in your system. That's business. But, you know, they work at Foot Locker. I understand. It's, it's like, it <laughs> can't be that intelligent. You ain't, we ain't got the smartest people in the world working there, clearly. She scans the, 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 the label on the box. Boom, pops up, sales tax 223.60. I looked at her, I said, so you don't need this QR code? Oh, 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 yeah, I do need that. No, you don't, because you didn't already made the mistake of showing me that you didn't. But, you know, I just want to give you guys a little bit of story time. I don't want to try to like stretch this video out any longer you know we're here to talk about a classic 06 i probably was in the ninth grade like i except maybe yeah ninth grade my high school won his first boys state championship 06 07 so you know wasn't a lot of a, a many people walking around school with these because people didn't have them jump man 23 exclusive you know 500 dollars that pair 250 People wasn't doing that back then. That's DMP days or a little bit before that's DMP days and just all in that era. But everybody didn't have everything. But I ain't going to keep y'all here much longer. If you want it, cop it. I felt like it was a necessity. So you might as well go ahead and get you one because at the end of the day, I don't think these are even accessible. The box was tearing the, the sites up yesterday. So, you know, if you want your pair, go do your due diligence. Resale ain't too high right now because they were 220 after tax and everything cashed out so it's not crazy retail but um resale isn't crazy either 
Retail is crazy. I'm sorry. Resale isn't crazy in terms of the retail price. But, you know, get you a pair if you want a pair. I feel like this is a classy to me, non-OG, you know, colorway. Um, go ahead and copy one, man. You know, something I feel like you add to the con collection. Something simple, nothing too crazy. But, you know, I enjoy speaking with you guys again today. Another great video. We got more content coming. You know, we, we, we really trying to get this out here. I want you guys to come back all the time and really watch and and indulge in the videos but don't forget to like comment subscribe my handle my social media handles will be at the end of the video but i'll just go ahead and kick them out germ underscore t underscore smith j e r m underscore capital t underscore s m i t h checking out from the strap sneakerhead y'all peace